Tom, thank you very much. Uh, now, for an up-and-coming young band from Suffolk, it sounded like a dream come true, an invitation to perform in America at a high-profile festival in Texas. The only problem was that the band, called Superglue, couldn't afford the trip. Their supporters stepped in, organising a series of fundraising gigs to help cover the cost. And the final gig is tonight in Ipswich. Kevin Birch is there now. Kevin. Yeah, hello Susie, welcome to The Swan. You mentioned the fundraising, the first gig raised about £900, the second had to be cancelled because the venue shut, so it puts a lot of emphasis on tonight's do here, but there are donation boxes all over the place. Hopefully this will mean that the lads can get to go to the States. We'll talk to them in a moment, but first, in a film that does contain some flashing lights, let's see them in action. Their music is fast and furious, their songs, according to their management, are mysterious creatures. As for the band itself, well, this isn't the place for lazy puns about superglue being tightly bonded, but they are. And they're lauded for what's described as their laser precise punk pop workouts. In the words of one reviewer, combining the spikiness of the Pixies with the ocean-fresh four-part harmonies of the Beach Boys. Great musicians, they have great songs, they have everything that you could possibly need to succeed in the music industry, but the one thing that you need in abundance as well is luck. I think if they don't make it and if they don't achieve everything they want to achieve, then it's the fault of the music industry itself. They've got everything. This is where Superglue are heading the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, to perform as part of the BBC Music Showcase. It gets underway in a week's time. It will be, they say, a huge honour. But no doubt just reward for a band who say it's all about giving everything, letting go, yet still finding time to goof around. My love is upside down, it's inside out, it's round Well, let's have a chat with Ben, who's the drummer. Uh, ben, you must be so, so grateful to all the people who've come up with the money to help you go. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Um, last week we played at Barry St Edmunds, uh, the Hunter Club, and they raised like nearly a thousand pounds. The bands are playing for free just to help us get to Texas, so. Fantastic. Really happy. How much, and how much of, of an opportunity is it for you? Uh, it's massive. I mean, at the very least, it's like the funnest holiday you could ever imagine. and. At the very most, it could lead to something else really good. But we're just, we're just happy to be going and playing in America. Is it the kind of thing that excites you or makes you scared stiff? Uh, I, I'm excited to go. I'm fearful to travel on a plane to a different country with three of the cheapest people I know. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for the opportunity and just to go have fun. And fantastic. And uh, for you, I mean, it's a real opportunity. Where do you think it could lead? Because people talk in very glowing terms about you and your potential. Um, I mean, you hope that it could go like as far as it could possibly go, but just just to go to America and play and to doing the shows you know, for the BBC and for DIY magazine and um, all the really good people that are putting it on, that's like massive for us. We haven't played outside the UK, so to just hop over to America straight away is like a real big deal. This is a reminder to all of us, this is what real live music is about, isn't it? And I never knew you could get so much kit in such a small space. Yeah, they, they, they all... Uh, don't know what they're doing, really, but <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I think they're taking it all apart. I mean, yeah, it's, I had it set up really nicely, but they've destroyed yeah, it now. It seemed to be going so well. But I don't anyway. want to go. I don't want to go on a plane with them. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be a great night, and um, I think we're going to hang around for this. It's going to be exciting. Cool. Best of luck, and uh, we wish you all the best and great success in the states. I'm sure. Thanks, you man. You will wow them. Cheers. Back to Thank the you. Studio. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. He's so rude about his travelling companions, yeah, the, his, his with the, bandmates. With, with the stupidest people I know. <laughs> he, I did, he did say it could be the funniest holiday ever. So. But what a great thing, all the fans kind of chipping in. Oh, I thought the music wonderful. was fantastic. I'm probably not cool enough to, to really enjoy that. Cool Do you think? I, I, don't cannot, know. I can't believe that. But I thought what was lovely is the fact that Kevin spoke to the drummer. No one ever speaks to a drummer, <laughs> do they? No one ever speaks to the drummer, but they're the ones that work the hardest, I think. They always <laughs> work the hardest. Good luck. Um, anyway, Alex.